Hello, Acalians. I've returned from Minecraft Hell's Kitchen for a few days to consult my friend and local Big Floppa expert, Thomas, to discuss a brand new theory appearing in several Big Floppa message boards on the deep web. Our main concern is over a picture that actually was talked about in the death battle, and that is the picture of Big Floppa earless. During that video, I used the picture as conclusive evidence that Big Floppa can modify his body, which I and Luke still agree with. However, our video was viewed by several Big Floppa scholars, including Big Floppa himself. However, something very important happened during the video. One of the viewers was found beating in the screen of his computer by police while watching. Upon further investigation, the viewer had paused at the point of Earless Big Floppa. The picture of Earless Big Floppa and the actual video, which, by the way, is in the description because it is truly beautiful, were taken by police and examined in a laboratory, in which they concluded that the picture had somehow triggered the watcher's fight-or-flight response. While the police investigated this, me and Thomas figured out that the person who the police had brought in had activated their fight response. We had a theory that there were others who had a flight response that weren't recorded. So me and Luke got to work. We checked endless flight logs from July 20, 2020, the time where the initial video was posted, we scurred through all the airlines before we found one person who had traveled from Las Vegas to Berlin, then to Paris, then to Australia, then to Hong Kong, then to Tokyo, then to Iceland, and then to Sicily, all in the span of two days. Currently, this person is still on the move, having just traveled to Madagascar. Me and Thomas were able to track him down in an interview. He asked to have his voice blurred to keep his anonymity. An 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 what the hell is this word, Thomas? What the... An an what, what the... An he wanted to remain anonymous. So tell me, why did you travel all this way? I was running from that thing. What thing? Big flop up. Oh god, I haven't seen my wife and kids for months. I saw it. I saw it with my own two eyes. Sir, you need to calm down. Is it here? Do either of you know where it is? Is it coming for me? Sir, please put the gun down. Needless to say, me and Thomas didn't really find out anything. It appears our investigation couldn't go any further until one night in the lab. Thomas was drinking a Red Bull, which, you know, good job, Thomas. You know, that's a great drink to drink in the lab. And accidentally spilled it on the image. And one of the chemicals reacted to a small print inside Big Floppa's left eye. It was so shocking that me and Luke committed arson to our laboratory to try and hide our discovery from the authorities. But basically, when you zoom in on Big Floppa's left eye, you see something truly frightening. That's right, in the reflection of Big Floppa's eye, you see another Floppa, baring his teeth. And even though this magnification is impossible to detect with the naked eye, inside this Floppa's eye, is another floppa. So, so what does this prove? What this proves is that earless big floppa is in a room with several other floppas. Wait, there's more than one floppa? I thought all the different pictures were the same one in different situations. That is a common theory, but I believe that this is proof that there is more than one. So what this must mean is that while the image of earless big floppa looks normal to some, others pick up on the other floppas in the room just based off the reflection of one, the human mind can scope out the entire room that earless floppa is in, which the subconscious mind realizes houses several floppas. Exactly. The fight or flight reaction is created by the mind, creating a subconscious image of several floppas being in the room, which there are. So here's my question, if there are multiple floppas, why are they all in the same room? Thomas, you're a floppa expert, explain. There's no simple explanation, but me and the rest of the floppa council agree that this is some sort of team of floppas from all around the world. Their objectives are unclear, but something tells me they plan to take over the world. Uh, why's that? Because that's what every group of powerful beings do. If the human mind is already fearing just seeing multiple, what if they begin to attack us? If a group of floppas decided to attack humans, I can predict with almost certainty that they would take over the world. Well, what can we do to stop them? Nothing. June 20th, 2020 was when the video was posted. It's already been eight months. Who knows when the floppa army is ready to attack? <laughs> oh my god. I can't believe I'm recording this for a video. <laughs> where, where did my life go wrong? As me and Luke discussed in the death battle video, Floppa's abilities would almost certainly destroy international militaries with ease. The only thing that can stop them is something more powerful. Wait, 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 Thomas, Thomas. Something more powerful? You, you mean Goku?
Well, if you've made it this far, you've watched the whole video, so, you know, why not take the extra step and just subscribe? I'm sorry for not posting Minecraft Tells Kitchen this week. It's coming out soon. I just wanted to spend some time to get more familiar with my new editing software. Uh, join the Discord down below to talk with me and some other people. Big thank you to Thomas for being in this video, and I'll see you all soon.